What is up, Bomb Squad? Welcome to the Burndown YouTube channel. Today's pretty fun. We're gonna go to Unlimited Products. They're about an hour from my house, and that's with traffic, so they're a little closer, I guess, but they manufacture fiberglass parts. And about five weeks ago, give or take, we ordered all brand new fiberglass for the front of the Malibum. So the hood was still decent, the driver's fender was decent, but if you remember, it was a 65 uh, setup, and then I cut the hood and pushed it back and made it out. It's actually that hood's made out of cardboard, uh, believe it or not, the, the front of it because it was a 65. And again, we pushed it back 65, that was more of a peak. Well, this go around instead of just ordering the one fender and the bumper, I was like, let's put the Malibu back to what it should be so people aren't confused. So we got 64 fiberglass fenders, a flat 64 hood. We'll have to cut a hole. I'll probably end up doing the bubble on it to cover everything else, but I figure we'll start with the flat hood. And then I got a bumper. So we got the call early this morning and I was debating picking it up, but I'm excited. I want to get some stuff rolling in and feel like I'm doing things. So we're going to pick it up. Uh, they are closed Friday, so that leaves kind of today or Thursday were the two days that I could get it. But I'm hoping that we get the call from my buddy Jason by the end of the week that I can start going over in the afternoons and doing the hour a day deal over at his place. So I figured today's the day. Uh, we, I'd rather go sooner than later. So I got the road dog. She's ready to go. She's waiting for my monologue. Hey, you ready to roll? Hell yeah, she's ready to roll. She's always ready. So let's jump in. We'll go up to the facility. I don't know if I can really show you around, but at least kind of show you the outside of it. Show you what the stuff looks like. Uh, we got some tie downs. We're just gonna throw it the back of the dirty old truck with the hay. Life's gonna be gravy. So let's get out of here and I'll bring you back when we pull up to unlimited products. All right, Fruki and I are out here in the wonderful high desert. She's been napping. She's awake for this one. So we'll pull in. It looks like it's somewhere around here. Looks like they're making fiberglass parts, so. Oh, there's a little sign that says limited. Let's go check our stuff. Uh, check that out. That's a boat mold. That's pretty rad. So Somebody's making yachts, so I don't know. Let's go see if we can find where this thing is at. I'm just driving around. I'm probably not supposed to be back here, but... We'll just wander around and go ask somebody. Drove right by it, I got distracted by the boat molds. So, let's see, entrance, let's go see what they got. That's as secure as it's gonna get. Front bumper, hood is underneath. We got race weight stuff this time, so it's actually lighter than what we had before. And the Fruki's over here. I know, it's a little warm, we're gonna get going. And then we got fenders, and then these are 64s instead of 65, so that's cool. We'll pull them out, and I'll show you guys when we get home. Get on your side. Let's go. Come on. Come on. It is later in the day. We made it back home. I didn't unload or nothing. We still had to work because I was kind of playing hooky. So we got some work in. I've got multiple stickers going out. So thank you guys. Uh, in the description, we were taking donations for stickers. You guys have been super generous with all that stuff. So here is some of the magic. So let's pull it out of here. And I'll pull the fenders and stuff out. We'll throw it down. We can get a look at it together. I kind of inspected it a bit, but it's kind of like it, it, it is what it is, right? We just need parts to go racing. So let me pull them out, kind of set them out here, and we can kind of look at them together. I'm excited, man. At least it's a step in the right direction. And uh, we are that much closer to get the Malibu put back together. Here are the pieces that we got. So the thing I'm most excited about are these. So they don't have the point. So these are 64. So the other ones I had had a point on it. And then this guy, my other hood actually had some weight to it, but this one is race weight. So it is full pin on, it will need the structure of the Zeus fasteners this go around but yeah there's no inner structure to this one so this this hood's actually pretty light the other hood I have is more uh, is heavier so it'll be interesting to see by how much 
maybe what we can do is I can stand on a scale and pick them both up and deduct it. Here's the other uh, front fender. And then the bumper, this is the exact same bumper we already had on the car. And then obviously we just smashed that side of it. So uh, that is technically the same thing that we had before, just a, a new one. So yeah, pretty sweet. Let's do this just for fun to show you guys. The other one was supposed to have hinges, I believe. And it had like a bunch of, it looked like fill work and backing and it was supposed to have like an inside to it. So when you picked it up, you didn't just fold the hood over. So it's a lot heavier than you would think when I would go to pick it up and stuff. I mean, I have it over here. So let's do that. Let's, let me steal my wife's scale because she's not home. And then I'll try to pick the hood up and step on it. And then I'll, I'll minus the weights and everything. I think that's the easiest way to do it instead of, maybe we can balance it. I don't know. Let's go have some fun while she's not here and go take her stuff. And then hopefully we don't trash it and get in trouble. Stole the scale. I think I have to stand on it because it has those little things that wants me to stand on it. I went back there to get the hood and then I figured I'd show you guys the difference. So see the peak and the flat. So that's kind of it, right? Like this shape, it's a little different. You know, this comes here and then this is flat as this protrudes. And then I lifted this up and I was like, dude, this thing's heavier. And I thought, yeah, you know, I got a couple Zeus tabs, maybe the paint. But around here on the inside, like it's all, it's thick and there's either, I don't know if it's glass or what. And I think they spend a lot more material on this thing. So let's measure these because just by picking them up, I can tell a difference. I don't know if it's significant, but I figure since we're here for science. So let's go stand on the thing with this guy. Yeah, dude, that one's... Uh, don't judge me, people. One fifty six point two. Um, you probably can't even see it. So one fifty six two, holding the deck out, boy. I mean, I didn't put that much paint on there, right? Stay. Like you can even. This is like a lot flimsier compared to that one. So we'll have to make sure it's buttoned down. All right. One fifty point four. So that's pretty wild. So that's six pounds, dude. So that's six pounds heavier than this little glass dude here. So that definitely had more structure to it. So we'll have to figure stuff out on the car to make sure, you know, the hood, because the hood's supposed to bolt to this. Like on that thing, I just had a bolt in the front and then to this. So, hmm, we'll have to see. We'll figure that out. But yeah, six pounds, so 12 pounds worth of fender. That's pretty wild. I know this is gonna be significant, so I gotta two hand this one. <laughs> so let me go get the fender or the hood and we'll try it. I'll just set you guys up over here. It won't be the end result either because we're going to put a bubble uh, in the other hood. So this one has a cowl. We'll need it to clear all the good stuff. But I'm just curious. Then obviously it doesn't have Zeus's and all that fun stuff. But see, underneath here, it had a full piece on the inside and I cut a lot of it out. So the structure was definitely different. So made by a different person. Let's see what this weighs. Put me on the scale. Go, go, gadget scale. One seventy three point six. This is nothing compared to that one. One fifty six four. Yeah, so let's let's see here. We're just we're not going to round it up. So 173 minus 156, 17 pounds more on that hood. Granted, we're gonna have all the Zeus buttons and all the stuff, and then we'll put a bubble in it. So I doubt we'll add 17 pounds to it, but still, I mean, that's pretty wild. Again, those fenders though, they don't have as much structure as the old one. So I feel like we're gonna have to be mindful like when we mount stuff because we need to keep the hood on the car at like 150 miles an hour, but I'm super excited. 
this moves us forward. Uh, I was talking to another guy on Instagram, I believe it is, and he has some other parts. So I still need a rear bumper. I want to run a real one. I don't want a plastic bumper uh, in the back. And the grill, the headlight bucket, the one I munched on the passenger side, I'd like to get an OG one um, because all that stuff fits back uh, into those fenders. And then I need the trim and then just like the front lenses that we broke on the other bumper. I have the one side, but I figure we'll just do new lenses and get that all kind of sorted too. Maybe we can just do um, LEDs again, do a better, better job of fitting all those things. But yeah, as far as all body parts and stuff, and somebody sent me a door skin that's in the mail. So I'm very thankful. So thank you very much for that. And uh, I will put the name up on here, at least the name of the person that sent it, um, because I'm thankful for that. And I can't remember everything offhand. I'm sorry about that. So I'm not ungrateful. I just am forgetful. And that's it. I'm pretty stoked. So hopefully soon here we can get, get to go working on the boom. I got to take everything off the front and strip it all out. So that way we get a plan of attack. And then we're also going to tie the cage into the front where the struts and everything go. So we'll probably end up... Well, that doesn't help with the finish on that. Ah, two out of three is not bad. But anyway, that um, that should hopefully we can we're gonna have to cut out the firewall I think so we have access to the cage to tie all that stuff in. So we have a ton of work to do, and once it's a roller, uh, the next thing because I'm looking into the future, we're already looking at paint colors. So I might get some testers in here. We're gonna shoot the car blue again, but I want a brighter blue. I want bright green on the flames, and I want pink pinstripes, and I want all of it under clear coat. So we're not gonna mess around this time. We're just gonna go uh, full gusto with that. And then we will figure out the rear end battle um, as we kind of sort the front out. And you need to look ahead like this so you don't get stopped out by waiting on parts because it's a big deal when you order parts just like these. Like these are five weeks out. Um, so I'm getting them now and it seems like, oh cool, but I ordered these a long time ago anticipating needing those for the front end. So time wise, I think we're doing good. I just have to stick to it and start pre-ordering stuff so that I have it when I need it versus waiting on it to come in. And I think we'll keep rolling. The last thing too I will say that we did order was I called my boys at War Performance and I ordered a front plate and a mid plate and a new blank one. I still have the front plate here, but the frame and everything's gonna be different on the front. So we just got a big blank one so it's full size. We can cut it and do whatever we need to do with it. And then the mid plate got broken and wadded up in the wreck. So I just got a new blank one of those as well. Again, we have new frame rails. I think we're gonna chop it off. So however we mount that stuff, we will consult with Jason and he will get it all handled. And I think we're gonna have room for activities. So I'm also thinking on hot side, maybe we take the radiator, we push it over, we put the turbo inside of the headlight so I don't have to knock a headlight out so I can actually see at night when I'm driving because that would be nice. And then the turbo can still get fresh air. We can kind of clock it a little bit. Maybe we come down to the front, have like a bullhorn or depending on how the tire sweep and, and travel is, it's a five inch exhaust so it's hard to fit but maybe we can kind of sneak it back and punch it out lower on the fender and do like a bullhorn um, and then we'll just kick it up and then hopefully that keeps the exhaust out of the passenger side like in the car would be kind of nice but i don't know get ahead of myself thinking out loud thank you guys for watching thank you for cheering me on and get your car together come out and play i mean i have a tall order ahead of me and i make it seem like it's not a big deal but trust me inside i'm sweating a bit but i really want to make this happen and i want to show up to rocky mountain race week 1.0 next year let off the trans button and make a hit at that first track and that that is that is the goal the goal isn't to finish it's not to win it's not to place it's to bring back a finished car and make the very first pass on the first day um everything after that is just gravy so you guys know what to do Till next time i'm out